How y'all doing this? Uh, Mr. Shotboy Boy, aka B Floyd, uh, on Tune It Up channel on YouTube, uh, Shotboy7 on Twitter, and D Hampton, Daniel Hampton on Facebook. Uh, just wanted to show y'all uh, how to uh, import and export your uh, your patterns in machine into logic. Uh, I've been trying to figure this out. Uh, nobody really went into uh, detail about it. They always had it multi-routed uh, out to separate tracks uh, using the temporal uh, in machine, which is you see when they create a track, it always end up being like this, and they end up creating this one, or they end up going into machine and doing it this way, having a multi output, which I did do. Uh, I did do that, that. But what they don't tell you is like me. I rather have all my drums on one track because uh, computer-wise processor power. I'd rather have it just on one and not separate. If I wanted to make uh, EQ the drums or, or anything else, I can do it within the machine and use their plugins. That way I don't have to use so much processor power. And I know people probably have the same kind of uh, mindset. They probably don't want to do that, so they're probably trying to figure it out. So they get frustrated because no tutorials is actually getting into that deep or doing it, uh, a quick tutorial on how to do it. So I basically want to show y'all how to how I did it. I created the drum pattern right here, and now that I had a drum pattern. You as you doing the drum pattern, you take it and drop it. Which I'm finna do it. Uh, let's say I go ahead and delete that one. What you do is you take this pattern. First, you first thing you want to do is actually go here. You see, it's a group MIDI batch setup. You want to click it to MIDI notes click that after you click that you take this and drag it now your sounds may not play right on the back because there's one more thing that you gotta do you have to activate your input once you activate your input you'll get this <coughs> Watch what happens when you cut this off. It took me as one thing. That's why it's happening. Because of this. You don't have to get out of the step. But if I put this one on. That's what you need to come on. They don't tell you that. Input needs to be active. To play your MIDI patterns in logic, you'll be able to create different variety varieties of your patterns. If you fill it with a machine and just drag and drop it. As long as these two, this one is set to two the MIDI notes, and this one is set to act. Once you do that, you do it. And you go ahead and start building on your on your drums on the track. So this is basically just a quick tutorial showing you how to do it. Uh, this is uh, B4, aka uh, Mr. Shopboy Born. Mr. Shopboy Born is my producer name, B4 is the artist name. So, uh, just wanted to show y'all, just in case y'all have any questions, y'all probably looking on YouTube trying to figure it out, and you probably just got frustrated. But uh, this is a simple solution to it, and you might not want it like everybody else wants it. So, maybe you want it like this. So. I just uh, showing you another way uh, of how to do it, and hopefully this will solve your problem. If you have any questions, drop a comment, uh, or have, or you know, if this helped you, comment. You know, so take care. Uh, God bless. Peace out. Keep it one hundred.